welcome to Frog. Um, this is the first video tutorial and uh, we'll show you how to log in and get around to the main areas of Frog. Um, so you've gone to frog.fillandpart.co.uk, uh, remembering not to put any www's in front of that. Um, your normal login and username and password will work here, so 07, 08, etc. and your normal password. And press login. So this is what's called the dashboard, which is essentially the, the home page of, uh, of Frog. Uh, and you have a variety of things on the home page. You have um, your feed on the right hand side um, where you can have friends, statuses, group requests etc. You can also update your status in the box just here um, and you also have a load of your feed. Now your feed is very important, it has, contains quite a few key things such as if a piece of homework is set, assignment is set, um, you've had a message from a, a member of staff or a, a, another pupil, um, it all appears on the left hand side here. Um, other things on the on the dashboard, you have these uh, quick link icons which will take you to various areas of the website and they may change as, as time goes on. You have the student notice board which will be updated with um, various student related things that you, that you guys need to know. Um, below that is your timetable, uh, obviously you won't display it for a day because it's the weekend but yours will be displayed there. Um, you have Google search just here and you have your files. Um, any files uh, that you have in your, it's worth mentioning, any files you have in your um, your normal user account will appear here as well. And a calendar for any, um, any student events as well, just for the day though, just for the current day. So that's the dashboard. Um, you also have these key areas here which are part of the part of the what's called personal area. The three key areas to frog are personal, classroom and the zone. We'll start with personal. So personal contains your set work, which you can click on from here. And a set work is all the pieces of assignments that you've been set by teachers. And we'll come on to that section slightly later. Uh, marks is any marks you've been awarded for individual assignments or homeworks or anything like that. Um, your, your email, which is uh, the frog mail. So any, any mail you want to send to uh, staff or students will take place here. Just bearing in mind the, the warning that your teacher would have given you that anything you send in frog will be recorded. This, this includes emails, even if you went after and deleted them, that would still be there. And it's very much your responsibility to secure your account. So if your password is currently password123, I heartily suggest that you change it as soon as possible as you will be responsible for any posts made on your account. So you also have your ePortfolio which is where you'll have all of your files. Um, this, is every, this is your personal area, teachers can't get to this area, uh, other pupils can't get to this area, it is all yours. Um, the planner section which has, uh, which will have any student events coming up, so we'll be putting things like barrages and things on here, uh, or any kind of student council meetings, and so on and so forth. Um, and finally, network drives. So if you click on network drives, now obviously I'm a test pupil, so I don't have any network drives, but you would have your own personal drive here. So anything that you've got on your in your area you, will, will appear here. It's very useful because when you think about that, you could get onto Frog from home and access your stuff uh, in your user area from Frog from here. So that's the personal section explained. Um, what I should what I'd like to do is have a browse around, get familiar with the personal section, and I'll see you in the next video all about the classroom.